It's early in the morning in Riverside County, California. These sheriff's deputies are about to execute a dozen search warrants on residential homes. They say they're going to find illegal marijuana grows there and victims of human trafficking working on those grows. But first, they're going to go after the leader of the operation. Welcome to our channel. Today, we uncover the jaw-dropping and mind-boggling tale of an insane gangster who laundered money for cartels. This audacious individual operated on the fringes of society, dancing dangerously with some of the most powerful and ruthless criminal organizations in the world. From complex money laundering schemes to daring encounters with law enforcement, their story is one of intrigue and danger. Join us as we delve into the motivations, the risks, and the shocking reality of this gangster's underworld dealings. Get ready to be astonished by the audacity of this insane gangster who dared to cross paths with cartels. Let's dive into this captivating and astonishing story. In a riveting investigation into the dark underbelly of international crime, a revolutionary money laundering system intertwines Chinese organized crime, Latin American drug cartels, and Chinese officials. At the center of this intricate web stands a shadowy figure, Zhijai Lai, a Chinese-American gangster with the cunning of a financier and the craftiness of a spy. Through his ingenious scheme, Lai transformed the drug underworld, empowering cartels to legitimize their illicit fortunes with unprecedented ease. Traditionally, drug lords faced the vexing challenge of converting stacks of cash into assets they could flaunt with impunity. The Mexican cartels employed arduous and costly methods, utilizing intermediaries and exposing their hordes to grave risks. Enter Lai, whose emergence six years ago signaled a seismic shift in the landscape. His operation in Chicago saw Chinese couriers discreetly exchanging cash with cartel operatives, kickstarting a chain of transactions that spanned continents. Lai's extensive international connections facilitated the swift and efficient laundering of cartel dollars. A mastermind of economics, he bridged the gap between drug lords seeking to shed dollars and an eager Chinese elite yearning to accumulate them. With no shots fired, this novel model outshone all competition, enriching the Mexican cartels beyond imagination. Yet, Lai's dark realm extends further. U.S. agents unraveled the disturbing ties between his money laundering empire and Chinese government officials and even the Communist Party elite. Exploiting China's massive outflow of capital, Lai and his cohorts moved millions of dollars within the country's tightly controlled economy with apparent immunity. In a startling revelation, a retired U.S. military leader, Admiral Craig Fowler, divulges chilling details about China's involvement in a complex and sinister web of drug trade and money laundering. While some officials argue that China deliberately fosters the drug trade in the Americas to destabilize the region, others suspect an ideological and strategic motive to sow hate and division. The alleged state complicity is veiled in secrecy, making it challenging to substantiate these grave accusations. Multiple national security veterans express similar concerns, raising questions about China's role in facilitating the flow of drugs and illicit funds to the United States. The Chinese embassy in Washington remains tight-lipped, offering no comment on the matter. The takeover of drug-related money laundering by Chinese organized crime has garnered global attention, with investigations ongoing in various countries. Europol warns about the growing threat posed by Chinese money laundering groups in Europe, while the U.S. State Department underscores the gravity of the issue, estimating a staggering $154 billion in illicit funds passing through China each year. The absence of a dialogue between China and the U.S. on matters like money laundering and counter-narcotics policies adds further complexity to the situation. In the shadowy world of crime and covert operations, the interconnectivity between Chinese organized crime and the Chinese state casts an ominous veil over the global landscape. A pioneer in money laundering, Zhijai Lai, emerged as a central figure in the DEA's investigations into drug lords and their millions. However, as the agents delved deeper into Lai's activities, they uncovered a web of intrigue and suspicion, leading them to Tao Liu, a Chinese businessman with a quest for political influence. Liu's unexpected meetings with President Donald Trump sparked concerns of a possible Chinese covert operation to infiltrate American politics. 
The investigations into Lai and Liu revealed startling dimensions that raised questions about the involvement of Chinese spy agencies and the clandestine ties between organized crime and political power. Despite the convictions of Lai and Liu for money laundering, the political and diplomatic aspects of the case remain shrouded in secrecy. Government agencies and lawyers involved in the case refrain from revealing crucial details, leaving the public to wonder about the depths of this intricate and dangerous affair. ProPublica's in-depth investigation, drawing on the accounts of national security officials and other sources, offers a rare glimpse into a world of intrigue, corruption, and high-stakes maneuvers. The aura of Huan Li, one of Zizhai Lai's many aliases, lingers as a haunting reminder of the elusive figures who navigate the dark underbelly of crime and politics. In the labyrinth of crime and cross-border intrigue, the tale of Zizhai Lai, known by the ominous alias of Huan Li, unfolds with a magnetic aura of menace and power. As Polanco's task force closed in on Lai, the air was charged with tension and fear, for no one dared cross this imposing figure. Born into a unique subculture that spoke the language of crime with ease, Lai's journey from rural Guangdong to the Mexican city of Mexicali laid the foundation for his criminal ascent. From working in a family restaurant to affiliating with the 14 Kelvin Triad, Lai's criminal network expanded, spanning across the Asian and Latino communities. With U.S. citizenship and ties to Chinese officials, he operated with brazen audacity, delving into drug trafficking and human smuggling. The Lucky City Restaurant, once a facade of culinary delights, transformed into a den of illegal activities. As investigators pursued his trail, Lai's intricate web of connections remained shrouded in secrecy. With a corrupt U.S. border inspector aiding his smuggling endeavors, Lai navigated effortlessly between worlds. His criminal exploits extended beyond borders, trafficking cocaine from Mexico to Hong Kong and smuggling Chinese migrants through Cuba. As the DEI and FBI launched their investigations, Lai's life of crime appeared to be an elaborate dance, with each move orchestrated with precision. But amidst the shadows and subterfuge, questions loomed. How did he manage to maintain ties with Chinese officials? How did his connections span continents? from the muddy lands of Guangdong to the smoggy streets of the San Gabriel Valley. In the treacherous world of crime and clandestine operations, Zizhai Lai, alias Wan Li, emerged as a masterful player. A web of connections spanning Mexico, Cuba, Canada, Hong Kong, and beyond became the backdrop for his sophisticated and cautious maneuvers. To navigate this intricate landscape, Lai relied on well-placed allies and a shrewd understanding of different cultures and countries. As he dabbled in drug trafficking and human smuggling, his reputation as a cunning and sophisticated operator grew. Negotiations with an undercover agent led to a daring cocaine deal, exposing Lai's criminal enterprise. While some accomplices were captured, Lai managed to slip away, proving his elusive and adaptive nature. In Mexico City, he found a new partner in Qian Chen, a young and charismatic woman who became both his romantic interest and criminal ally. Together, they forged a multilingual subculture, blending Chinese and Spanish in their communications. Expanding their operations, they saw an opportunity in money laundering. Wise entrepreneurial instincts led him to buy a casino in Guatemala, transforming him into a gambling entrepreneur and fugitive under a new identity. Simultaneously, he ventured into selling fraudulent documents, infiltrating corrupt bureaucracies to provide professionally forged papers. Tao Liu, a wealthy Chinese expatriate, sought Lai's expertise to acquire a Guatemalan passport, sealing their providential encounter. The entwined paths of Lai and Liu led them to the jungles of Chiapas, where clandestine journeys across borders became a routine. Amidst the luxury of Mexico City, the allure of Cancun, and the intrigue of Guatemala, Lai's criminal empire thrived, adeptly capitalizing on the vulnerabilities of multiple nations and their bureaucratic systems. But as investigators worked tirelessly to unveil the true extent of Lai's operations, questions lingered in the shadows. How did he maintain his elusive connections to high-ranking Chinese officials? 
during the dangerous meeting at a safe house in Guatemala, Tao Liu, an expatriate Chinese businessman, encountered a high-ranking Chinese military officer who had also sought out Lai's fraudulent services. This encounter revealed the extent of Lai's involvement with Chinese officials in Latin America, raising concerns about the national security implications of his illicit operations. As the DEA joined forces with the State Department's Diplomatic Security Service, the magnitude of the threat posed by Lai's empire became clear, prompting a relentless investigation that continues to this day. Lai and Liu, though seemingly dissimilar, shared a common trait, their roles as globetrotting outlaws. Despite their contrasting appearances and personalities, they became intertwined in the intricate web of Lai's criminal enterprise. Liu played a vital role in the establishment of Lai's empire, with conversations recorded by the DEA indicating that Liu served as both mentor and accomplice in the world of money laundering. Lai's money laundering deals with Latin American drug cartels were unrivaled, operating at an astonishingly low commission rate of 1 to 2 percent. His ability to deliver astounding sums of money with remarkable speed earned him a reputation as a trusted partner for the cartels and Chinese clients seeking to move money out of China's restricted financial system. Through a complex system of mirror transactions, Lai seamlessly laundered millions across Mexico, the United States, and China, evading law enforcement and enabling covert financial activities. His vast network relied on Chinese banks, including state institutions, to facilitate transactions and move money with apparent ease. However, some investigators suspect that some bankers may have turned a blind eye to the illegal activities taking place. The brazen use of WeChat, an application closely monitored by the Chinese state for money laundering further raised questions about the involvement of authorities in Beijing. As Lai's empire expanded, he attracted the attention of Sharp DEA investigator Peter Maurer, who teamed up with Tennessee state agent Cisliga to unravel the connections between Lai's operations and the powerful 14 Kelvin triad. This critical discovery shed light on Lai's sprawling web of connections across Asia and the Americas, exposing his ties to the Chinese power structure. Lai's clients included influential figures in the Chinese Communist Party, Chinese government, and the diaspora, further underscoring the depth of his involvement with high-ranking officials. However, as Lai's criminal empire flourished, so did the threats against him. Surviving an ambush in Guatemala City, Lai found himself immersed in an increasingly perilous world where rival gangs vied for control of the illicit trade. The fall of Lai's empire came in 2019 when he was lured to Mexico under the pretext of a meeting, only to be captured and brought to justice by the DEA. Yet, the story does not end with Lai's apprehension. The intricate connections between organized crime and government entities persist, posing a continued challenge for law enforcement and raising questions about the extent to which Chinese authorities are aware of and involved in these illicit activities. As the world grapples with the complex interplay of international crime and political influence, the legacy of Zhijai Lai remains an enduring enigma in the annals of the underworld. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.